Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It's Lori, and I'm here to do a bonus reading for you. All right. We have, you have just received Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, and Capricorn energy on the Zodiac die. There might be a touch of Aries and Leo again. I'm pretty sure that's what came out during your daily. All right, let's go ahead. This is a bonus reading. I'm looking for good information, good blessings, good fortune. I'm asking Spirit to give you the best message for your highest good at this time for the largest portion of the Libra Collective. Look at this. You have just drawn the King of Pensac Pen Pensacles. Pensacola, something about Pensacola, possibly, Florida. All right, um, stability, security, loyalty, a place of safety, a place of stability, uh, uh, enjoying the finer things in life, doing something that enriches your life. Look at the library in the background here. That's a lot of wisdom. That's a lot of knowledge. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what else is going to come out here loyalty here with that wolf by your side judgment you may have to make a decision here and it may not be easy to let go of this i'm hearing some of you might just have to let go of a relationship of uh, a negative i mean really bad situation where you know you're right they're wrong they're wrong for what they did spirit saying let it go the more you fight this, the more you're going to be embroiled in that energy. The longer you're going to be embroiled in that energy. Don't stay there. Let this go. Let, let go and let God deal with it. Let karma be doled out by who's it's meant, you know, by who's meant to dole out karma. That's not for you or I. We did not create karma, okay? And we do not dole it out. So let this go. It may be. It could be very, very difficult for some of you, okay? Others of you, you've been ready to let this go. So just release it. Surrender. Don't fight it. Just surrender. <laughs> yeah. It will set you free. This is beautiful. If you can surrender to this thing, whatever it is, it will. it's going to be freeing. You're going to be much happier. Your soul is going to feel good. Right now, your mind is in, is all tied up. You're caught up in something that you just, you can't stop thinking about. It's just repeating over and over and over again in your head. This is the energy you want to be in. The only way you're going to get there is to overcome this challenge and let it go. You've got to get outside your head here, please. For your sake, please get outside your head. Releasing this. I'm telling you, Spirit's saying it will make you so much happier. Your life will get so much easier. Let's see what's going to come out next. Let's see what's going to come out next. I got something going on outside. I'll be right back. Funny that the clock stopped at 3.33. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see what else is going to come out here for you. All right, so let's get you out of your head. Let's move you forward. Let's help you release. Strength card, okay? This You definitely, um, it's about trust. It's about bravery. It's about knowing how angry you are inside, how upset, how hurt, how wrong, how um, you just feel like whatever this person did or whatever this situation is, it is wrong, wrong, wrong on every single level. And you really want to take action on this this might be a test of your character from spirit for yourself, for your own sake, not to prove anything to spirit or anyone else, but to prove to yourself that you can release these types of things and give it up, okay, and surrender it and not let these types of things get to you, maybe in the form that they have in the past. So keep that in mind. It could very well be a test that your higher self, your high, your self has given to you, put you in this situation again, okay? Because I do feel like this is like a repeated thing and that's why you're so bothered by this. 
and why you're like, why does this keep happening? How do I get over this? How do I move past this? Spirit's telling me you already have once in the past, maybe two or three times in the past. What did you do then to successfully move past it? I'm hearing you surrendered. You gave it up. You, you said, I will let karma be dealt by whoever deals it out. It's not my job. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on me. And that's what you did. All right. Look at the magic happening here. Everything that you require is at your fingertips. So if you need resources on uh, financial resources, you will find a way to receive the financial resources. If you need a lawyer to handle this situation, that will come to you, but not until you surrender. It is. It, it really is about showing yourself that you have the ultimate control of the situation, your situation, okay? How you choose to handle the situation. If you decide to do it peacefully, calm, calmly, with grace, with dignity, and not allowing people to get to you, not allowing, even no matter what they do to you, no matter how bad this is, if you can maintain your cool, your calm, okay, which is what the magician has to do. You don't think that magi magician is going to sit there with his heart pounding while he's playing with dynamite, do you? Or things like glycerin that could explode in his face. No, he has to put that stuff behind him and focus on what's happening right here, right now. And I do feel like you can do this and Spirit's telling me you can. All right, Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The question is, what do you want to focus your attention on? There's things that are buried deep here, okay? Do you want to activate something that may or may not be beneficial to you? Or do you want to focus on what you can see right here and right now? Yourself, okay? Oof, oof, oof. Loving this. All right, so in the recent past, five of swords. Somebody's been causing you some grief. Somebody's been causing you. This could be gossip. This could be somebody else always has to win. I'm always right. You're so wrong. Okay, whatever it is. That's the past energy there. Let's go ahead and see what else is going to come out here for you. So there could be gossip around this situation. And you know what? Gossip is none of your business. You don't need to listen to that. You don't need to worry about that. Once again, people talk. <laughs> people talk BS walks. Okay, don't let it get to you. People have such short memories that even this terrible, what you consider to be an absolutely horrible situation, first of all, only half of the number of people that you think are paying attention to it are actually paying attention to it. And that, that half of those people are not the type of people that you want to concern yourself with. So if you want to sit in this beautiful king of pentacles place of stability confidence and capability surrendering up whatever this situation is the energy around it let it go just let it go i'm not telling you if you have to go to court because somebody has um slandered you injured you not to do that no what i'm saying is deal with your emotions deal with how you respond to the situation get out of your head Okay, get out of your head and surrender this up and say, I am going to be peaceful and calm because I know everything can work out in the end. But not if you're all razzle-dazzled and stressed out, scared, freaking out. That th Things don't work when we're in that kind of energy. Yeah, and don't worry about what people say about you, okay? It's none of your business what they say because... They're probably lying. They're probably confused about what they're saying. They're probably envious. Don't worry about them. It's just their, their situation. It has nothing to do with you. Okay? And if you worry about what other people think about you, you're going to be unhappy the whole rest of your life. All right. Let's see what else is going to come out here for you. Got the four swords take a step back from this and this is what i do see you doing here this is what spirit is telling me you are about to do you're about to put the brakes on this you're you're like okay i'm done i'm going to surrender okay i'm going to let this be you're not you're going to make peace with it 
You're going to focus on taking care of yourself, making sure you're resting. Um, yeah, you're not definitely not engaging in this. Now, I did hear some of you may go away, may separate yourself from this situation. That's not a bad thing as long as there's no court case pending, of course, because if you have a court case, you are not supposed to leave town or the state, depending on what type of court case it is. So make sure you are allowed to leave if you um, have a court case. You don't want to get yourself in trouble trying to calm yourself down, trying to find peace. That's not going to be a good end result there, is it? All right, let's go ahead and see what else is happening here. Whoa, the only card in the upright is the Knight of Wands, and it's in the reverse. So whatever noise was going on, whatever stampede was hap happening, whatever chaos was going on, whatever inconsistency there might have been, it's not happening. It's being quashed. It's being quelled. It's being calmed. It's being put down. It's, it's like I keep getting an image of a fire and somebody just throwing a blanket over it and it just diminishes the fire. Okay. It's just like, it's going to be cool. And I'm, I'm also getting like cold air coming in, in an inflamed situation and just feeling peaceful, refreshed. So whatever was going on here, and I do feel like one day you may hear some gossip and then the next day you don't hear anything and you have a moment of peace, okay? And that I do feel like that's what's happening here with this Knight of Wands in reverse. It's slowly dying out. It will slowly die out. But the more you just let it be, the more you just step back from it and don't worry about it, the quicker it will dissipate. All right, this will be over whatever it is, and there will be a brand new fresh start coming in for you. The Ace of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what else we have here for you. Let's see what else we have here for you. Well, we have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. This is in your hopes and fears. I'm, I'm hearing options, okay? You might be confused about the choices, the options that you have. I see that you're willing to put the effort in here to let things go, to allow things to move on, to... Focus on maybe just work instead of this situation. Maybe you're not certain how that, how you can do that or if you can do that. This, remember, this is your hopes and fears. It's not reality. But what you do focus on does grow. So I see and feel this deep desire within you to take advantage of something that might just feel a little confusing right now, like how to surrender maybe, maybe, and you just want to do this, but maybe you aren't sure how. Just start by sitting peacefully for five minutes. See if you can sit for five minutes without stressing about whatever this is, this Eight of Swords is. Whatever is trapped in your head, stop thinking about it for five minutes. Focus on something else. Do you feel a sense of peace coming over you? All right, is there an opportunity? What inspiration comes to you when you're at peace? That's what spirit wants you to focus on. Because I do feel you want to move on. You want to let this go. You're ready to take advantage of how to surrender. You've done it in the past. Maybe that's what spirit's asking you to do here is to figure out what you did in the past, how you accomplished your successes in the past so that you can repeat them. Your outcome here is the star card. There is healing. You will once again have hope for the future. Okay, look at this. Um, you're being tethered to the future. So you have some sort of energy that's going to help pull you along, take you with it. And it's your energy. I am hearing this is your heart. This is your soul. This is your higher self. 
right there. You're looking at yourself and saying, this is my accomplishment. This is what I have done in the past. I want to go there again, and I know how to do it. Look at that. Okay, beautiful. So there is healing, hope for the future, and look what comes of it. Look what comes of that star card and having the faith in yourself that the future can be brighter than where you're at right now. The Ten of Cups. Long-term happiness. Because now you're getting it, you're repeating it, you're manifesting on a regular basis. You're learning how to stay cool, calm, collected, know where to turn to get the resources that you need. Interesting reading here. Now, I, I know this was kind of specific here. However, um, you can take this in any form that makes sense in your life. All right, I'm going to get you a ruin card here. Let's get a ruin card. And it's Jofu, the gift. Okay, gift. An X marks the spot. So it's like a treasure. It's your spot. It's your, this is how I did it moment. All right. The meaning of this card is you are being called to examine what you give to the world and how you receive your blessings. Ah, oh, I love this. A gift is being offered to you. If you accept it freely, you must come you must become more giving in return. Open yourself up to the healing, letting go. If you're, okay, you know what I'm hearing here? This cycle of exchange must not be broken. Now, I'm going to finish this card. Trees associated with this energy is the ash and the elm. Okay, I'm going to hold that up for you. The ash and the elm tree. What I was hearing here is if somebody has wronged you, which is what's coming through here, you have had something happen to you where it's wrong, 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 okay? It is very, very, very wrong. If you can remember a time where you did something that you were not happy about doing, that you were not proud that you did, you probably didn't think it through, you may have reacted, you may have acted out of spite, and then you wanted forgiveness, okay? If you can remember that of this situation and say, okay, I don't know why this situation is happening, but grace has been given to me. I was forgiven. I was able to move past the thing that I did. Somebody looked at me and said, hey, okay, I understand you didn't mean to do that. Let's move on. Whatever the situation is, maybe you got a speeding ticket and you knew you knew you were speeding, yet you went into court and the judge was like, well, this is the first time you had a speeding ticket. We're going to let you go. Okay, so there's something here about forgiving yourself and at what you ask for, you have to be willing to give to someone else. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're forgiving their bad behavior. You're saying that you aren't going to expend that energy worrying about getting justice from this. And if you can forgive a situation, if you can let it go, all right, I, yeah, there's something here definitely about you having received grace in the past, and now it's your turn to surrender this up gracefully. All right, let's get you an angel number here. All right, let's, uh, if you, if this message made sense, makes sense. If you enjoyed this, if you found this entertaining, go ahead and tickle, tab, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments, all right? Share this message if you think there's somebody that needs to hear it. All right, look at this. 999, nine, nine. release, let it go, surrender. Don't, don't hang on to it. Make peace with this, make peace. All right, let's see what this card says for you. It says balance, which is Libra energy. Finances, so there could be money involved here. There could be some sort of success in wealth. It can be about cycles. What you, what was that? The cycle must go unbroken. The cycle of exchange must not be broken, okay? So it's about the cycles. What goes around comes around. That's karma, 
okay? Your current circumstances are coming to an end. So you might want to take advantage of the better ones that are coming your way. If you have been experiencing a significant change or ending, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters in a book might be helpful to you. How can you make room for something new to emerge? Well, the only way to make room for something is to release, surrender, let go, and then there's room for something new. And you know that. You guys know that. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. I'm just sharing the message that Spirit's giving you guys, okay? All right, we're going to get you a couple of oracle messages here. We've got the romance angels, or I'm sorry, the angel answers. So if you would like to ask, um, I think we're only going to do one card today. If you would like to ask a question and you don't have that question for him, please go ahead and pause the video. Start it back up when you're ready. All right, what is the best answer for the greatest collective good here, Spirit? From the Angel Answers. All right. <laughs> I love it. It says, if you believe. Okay, so what you believe is what you're going to grow. Okay, if you believe you can surrender this up and that karma will be dealt. And you don't even need to see the karma. When you, when you can let something go, and not even worry about the karma, you've healed, you've moved on, you've reached a pinnacle in your journey as a human being, as a divine spirit having a human experience, okay? Let's see what the book says about if you believe. It says here, what you need right now is faith. And yeah, right now would be a really good time to have some faith. You have what you desire, okay, the magician, but you must believe that it can be so. Okay, you can have what you desire, but you must believe it. So stay positive and visualize the outcome, all right, that you are hoping for, healing and happiness. That's what you're looking for. Set aside all of your negative thoughts, your pessimism, in favor of a sunny and happy and positive outlook. Even if you can't be happy or positive about it, just make peace with it. Just surrender it up. The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. So if we expect to have a happy and positive outcome with healing, we will receive that. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract those great things, the happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth or we feel like we have to be the one to take control of the situation and make them pay, okay, then our experiences will match that energy too. And we will only keep ourselves tied to negative energy. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams, and they will come true. Beautiful. Let's get you another oracle message here. All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, we haven't had one of these in a few. In a hot minute, as they say, or used to say. This is the Oracle of the Wild Things. Let's see what's going to come out here for you. It has been a few days since we've had one of these. All right. It says, Welcome <laughs> the Unwelcome. And it's card number 45, which is a nine, which is about releasing. I don't think I have a book here. It, it's about those things that we don't want. We don't want to face them. We don't want to deal with them. Um, we know they're going to happen, okay? And accept that these things are meant to teach us something. Make us grow. Um, it may feel a little challenging, snaky, okay? Just embrace the moment that you're in. 
is what I'm hearing for the most part here. I'm being drawn to the fact that these are white snakes. And I know there was a band in the 80s, maybe 90s, called White Snake. And they had a particular song that I wish I could remember even a little bit of the lyrics or what it was about, but I can't. So that is a message for somebody out there. Now, I'm also noticing this mushroom here as a pendant on her on this card here. And I happen to have one up in that corner. See it? Right. Whoops. There. No. Right. <laughs> there. <laughs> And I don't know what it is about that that's being called to the forefront here. But there's something about that too. All right, so there's the card one more time. And it says, welcome the unwelcome. The things that you don't want are there for a reason. All right, let me roll the letter die and see what's going to come out here for you. All right, Kiki. Katana, Carlita, Caroline, Carol, Mac, McDermott, Dale, Dante, Clemson, Chad, Celadine, Celadine, Desi, Lydia, Larry, Lark, Lark, Larkin, Skyler, Sky, Skeet, I, I'm not good with these Italian names, Iacone, Iacone, oh, let's see what else have we got here. Philip, Felix, Demi, Missy, Mel, Billy, Bing, Bickford, DJ, LB, LB, uh, Tabitha, Talia, Natalia, Nathan, Michael, MJ, MD, but I'm seeing that like at the end of somebody's name. Caden, Chicago is coming through again, Eckert. Eki, Decker, Michigan, Denmark, Denver, Lake Como, Black, Ileana, Alana, I'm hearing EC, ICI, -I. I'm seeing it, hearing it, which means here in French, here. Somebody's being very adamant, here, here, here. Somebody's trying to point this out to somebody out there. What name can I get from this? JC, JC. If your name's JC, listen, somebody's trying to say here. And if you're, if you're being drawn to an area, somebody is trying to show you something. All right. Father, Feather, Fagan, Fabio, Flicker. Oh, the lights may be flickering for you. DC, Edmund, Edwina, Ebony, Icarus, Diego, Hogan, Chicago's coming through. So is Michigan again. Okay, that's what I've got for you guys. Diane, 
dicey dibs. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. Um, I got you an angel number, got you your letter dice, got you your reading. Oh, I know what card we're missing. Oh, I did get you a Roman card. Yes, I did. That was the important one. Joe Fu. Joe Fu. Okay, the gift. Make sure you leave that unbroken. All right, and I gave you an angel oracle message. So, angel answer. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. That information is below, and I will send you all the details that you need. I want to take just a minute and say that recently I've been getting quite a few comments from spammers, you know, from bots. I don't, I, I know a couple of them are real people because I've gone to their channels and I don't know why I am under attack here. Um, if somebody thinks I'm getting filthy rich off of this channel, um, I can show you exactly how much money I've made this month, which is about $300 in what? Two and a half weeks, okay? Um, I'm, I think somebody has been slandering me because my, uh, or diverting my emails. I'm not sure what's going on, but I will be reaching out to YouTube. But if you're hearing rumors, I hope you're adult enough to judge for yourself whether or not you think that those rumors are true or not, okay? Um, I've been on this channel for over two years now. I have almost 2,700, that's 2,700 videos on this channel. And that is not even talking about the personal readings that I have done, which is in, I, I'm almost at a thousand personal readings. Okay. That's been in the past. I don't know what has happened, but since um, we're, we're in June now, I'm going to say since my birthday in April, I've had only two or three requests for information for personal readings, and I've only had two or three actual readings done. So I don't know if somebody's diverting my emails. That's why I'm trying to use different emails so that I know where they're coming from or if they're even coming through to me. And most of the ones that are asking for information have asked for information in the past. So I don't think if you're new and you're asking for information, have you heard back from me? Okay, um, let me know. Did you receive my email sending you the information? Because like I said, I'm not getting them anymore. And that's very, very odd. But if anyone thinks I'm getting rich off of this channel, <laughs> I can show you exactly how much money I am not making. Okay, I am working, doing several different things in order to make enough money to pay my rent, which is why I am in this place that I am in, because it's a lot cheaper than it was to rent. So anybody who thinks I'm just filthy rich or whatever, <laughs> all I can do is laugh. All right. I love you guys to pieces. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.